Hello and welcome to the Baptiste how-to guide that nobody asked for. In today's video we're going to be going over how you should be playing Baptiste and why you should be playing him this way. So let's start off with what you don't want to be doing all game. So heal botting, if you aren't already privy to that turn it's just basically when you're healing all the time. You're not doing any damage you're standing behind your tank and just watching the healing number go up because you're scared you'll get flamed there's not one support in the game that you want to be doing this with not even mercy like even she has a damage boost and every other support can defend themselves very well especially baptiste baptiste's weapons make quick work of just about anyone especially if you land headshots now i'm not saying you shouldn't heal it is an important part of playing support after all However, healing should not be your primary focus. Your primary focus should be damage. Unless someone is actually in danger of dying, you should not just be healing them and wasting your abilities trying to keep them alive all the time. This is especially important with Baptiste because his cooldowns are very long and you want, you're gonna wanna save those abilities for when you're in danger most of the time. So let's talk about positioning, how you wanna position yourself with Baptiste. Ideally, you want to be in an elevated position, but only when you can get good damage from that position. So, you know, you can't really like cross map people like like with Widow. I think I think Baptiste's range falls like a little shorter than 76's range. 76 can do a little more damage over range than he can. So you wanna to wanna to be a little closer than like a 76 can be, at least a little bit. So try not to stay directly behind your tank too much. Try to position yourself away from them, but try to keep them in your line of sight when possible. And it isn't always going to be possible to keep your tank or other teammates in your line of sight. So a lot of times you need to make an important decision. Should I regain line of sight so I can heal them or should I maintain a safe position where I can deal damage? Um, you're going to want to do that second option. A lot of the times, if you do the first the first uh, method, you're going to get yourself killed. Because just think, if you like move across the map, you know, you're or whatever, you're you're trying to get your tank in the line of sight. You use your immortality field to save them. You start healing them, and let's say um, Genji dives you. Well, you already used your immortality field, and your tension is on your tank. So guess what? You're gonna die. So while Baptiste is great at surviving and retaliating against direct attacks, he's not that great as es at escaping. So you're going to most of the time want to play around cover be and be ready to fight. You know, Kiriko can teleport, Moira can fade, um, but Baptiste can't do any of that. He can jump, but the, the jump isn't, isn't really meant for like, you know, to supplement um, him not having a teleport. So it's best to maintain your position usually and stay alive rather than risk your life trying to save one uh, suicidal teammate. Try to position yourself in your cover as much as possible with Baptiste as his self-healing paired with his immortality field makes him very hard to kill from cover at a safe distance. Even by Widow, actually impossible to kill. Speaking of his immortality field, there are a couple of things you're going to want to take note of when using the ability. The main thing is to always position it behind cover where it can't be shot. Now, many of you are probably like, duh, that's obvious, but a lot of people don't do this. Immortality field lasts a good while if it isn't destroyed. So what happens when you position it properly? Well, things like this. Whether it's a Visoring 76 or Cracked Widow, no one can really contest you um, as Baptiste at a distance because you can just be immortal and then just farm headshots. It's that easy. Don't be greedy though. Don't try to use it like super late uh, or else you will die because he's not always immortal. Even if your aim is bad like mine, you'll find yourself easily killing you know, characters like Widow or Ash or any other like mid to long range characters because you know it's pretty useful being immortal the next key thing is to not be afraid to use it to get kills so like using it offensively and what i mean by that is if you know a widow is like on a building maybe she's looking at you like she's like really far away well not like really far away because he does like no damage at like like super long distances but let's say she's a little far um 
you can't really poke out and heal you can't really poke out and shoot anybody else so what you want to do is you want to throw your immortality field like against the wall like where she can't see it and then you'll peek out immediately go for a headshot or, or whatever you can and then you should be able to kill her in two bursts now you're gonna want to try to kill him as fast as possible because you know she's gonna run away if she realizes you're immortal at least any smart widow will but a lot of the times in these circumstances that should be a free kill even if your aim is bad because widows are usually sitting still when they're aiming just be sure that they can't easily get to cover because when people see that they can't kill you a lot of times they'll run to cover so you you're gonna mostly want to use this little trick on people who are out in the open because if they're out in the open and you're by cover, you're immortal and they're easy pickings. Now there isn't much to say about uh, his regen burst other than to use it on people you can't otherwise heal. Um, you know, characters like Fair and Echo who you can't really hit with a grenade midair. If you can't hit them with a grenade, you're gonna, you, you're gonna wanna like jump to them like in the air and then like just pop a regen burst. That can, that'll keep them in a the fight a little longer if they're stupid, they'll probably die. If they're smart, they'll probably, you know, either get a kill or they'll, you know, they'll take cover and reposition themselves. You can also use his regen burst while reloading because, you, you know, otherwise you can't really heal while you're reloading. He does have to reload. Like, Anna can't really heal when she's reloading. He kind of can. I guess you could, you could, like, count her grenade, her, um, her healing grenade, but, or her biotic grenade. But it's a little different because I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure his anime, his reload animation keeps going while he does his regen burst. Now his exo boots. The exo boots should be used in a few ways. To either get into an elevated position or an off angle, um, or to dodge certain attacks. A few examples of things you can avoid with his exo jump is Reinhardt's tackle, you know, Bastion's all doom fist slam, doom fist punch maze all you can even jump out of it'll keep you from getting frozen if you jump out of it at the right time early enough and there's more things you can jump out of but i'm not gonna list everything it may take a little practice to you know get the reactions to to do these things but it's pretty simple when you get used to it now you don't want to be jumping constantly along there's like there's like some baptiste players that will just be constantly jumping don't do this because you're just an easy kill. When he's midair, he's like very slow. He he can't really like alter his trajectory much. And at the apex of his jump, he's kind of frozen. So you don't want to be jumping very often, especially if you're going against like a like a Ash or like a Widow, unless unless they don't know you're there. Like you're jumping behind cover from behind cover. There are certain circumstances where you want to jump, but that's like offensively, you know, to get a shot off on someone behind cover who you otherwise can't. Now, it's time to talk about his ult. His ult is useful for in a couple of ways. So obviously he can kill people with it very easily. He can also use it to control a lot of space. Unless the enemy team is stupid, they're usually going to stay behind cover as soon as they see that ult. The, the damage buff is like really, really scary. It also buffs his healing, but that's honestly the least useful part of Baptiste Alt. Most of the time you're going to want to be placing it in good positions where the enemies either don't expect it or they can't get to cover in time. Surprising people with his Alt from flanks and off angles is a really good way of getting easy kills. Now, Baptiste Alt is actually very interesting. So, a body shot with Baptiste Alt is basically what a headshot is for him, but without his Alt. And a headshot is basically just insane damage. So, he can actually, like, you know, one burst a character like Tracer with body shots if he has his Alt up. So, you can just, like, mow down people super quickly. Now, you can also use it to help teammates, but this isn't always what you're going to be wanting to doing. Because a lot of the times your teammates aren't going to be in a good enough position to really take advantage of it. So if you try to position... So think about it like this. Don't position your alt um, with your teammates. Position your alt away from your teammates. 
so that way you can take advantage of your teammates acting as a distraction you're more likely to get a kill that way because if you do it from where all your team is the whole team's just gonna get in cover they're gonna you know they're all getting shot from one direction so it's not really hard to avoid that if you are in a good position though to use it it's really good to use it with like a character like Bastion or 76 who can pump out a, a lot of damage really fast especially 76 with his all or bash in his turret form you can just, like people just die instantly so try not to wait around too much to you know use your alt with teammates try to use it pretty selfishly to get kills that's like pretty much the most effective way to use it all right that's about all uh of the tips tricks and advice i have for baptiste right now um, i want to keep this video short so i'll stop here if this video was helpful though uh, please press the like button and subscribe for more blessings from God Teast. Let me know in the comments if you guys want me to make uh, any other guides for characters I play. Um, I play a lot of 76, Reaper, Ramatra, as people know, Reinhardt, uh, Moira. So if you guys want to see any guides for any of like those characters, then maybe I'll make one. You guys gotta let me know though. But, um, thanks for watching. That's amazing. Oh my god, yes!